Hey guys, yeah, you got a crappy webcam view of me for the moment. Um, there's just uh, something we need to talk about. This is a very serious topic. Uh, this is something that we first need to have a moment of silence. Mario, rest in peace, man. It was a fun run. March 31st, Nintendo just decided to end your life. Please don't do this to Zelda. <laughs> no, seriously, folks, uh, we're having some issues here with the uh, Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, now, look, it vanished, oh, I don't know, five days ago, six days ago at this point. Uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is no longer available to purchase digitally. Uh, I think it was actually ended up being available for like an extra 24 hours digitally for some reason. Um but uh, maybe I was just to make sure all time zones all over the world had a fair shot at it on its final day digitally. But physically, Nintendo is done. They have sent out, as far as we're aware, they have sent out all of their remaining shipments for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now, look, you technically could still buy this game. This is the official website. There, there, there's no way to buy it here. I talked about this before, how um, some retailers are going to have digital copies still available because they pre-bought codes. Uh, other people are just going to straight up have it available. I mean, here's Best Buy. You know, add to cart right now. I can literally buy this right now. Now it's ready to pick up. There's copies available at my local Best Buy in Eau Claire. There's also copies that you could just get shipped to you. So technically at Best Buy right now, you can buy it for $59.99. Um, right here on uh, on uh, Amazon, they do not have any available at MSRP anymore. Uh, but they do have some that are close, $64.95. Uh, but only two left in stock at that price. Uh, there's also this one here for $66. Um, so it, they still technically have it available um, for either close to or at MSRP. But that's just while supplies last, of course, because there aren't any more shipments coming. Nintendo stopped printing copies of this on March 31st. So this is it. When these physical copies are gone, they're gone. And we've talked about this at length before, but how I don't like that the Nintendo did this. I get why they did it. The fear of missing out helped push sales for the fiscal year. And yeah, this is like the 13th best selling game on Switch at 8.32 million back at its last update. It's probably over 10 million at this point. So here's the thing. This summer, we have the 35th anniversary of Zelda likely being announced at E3. And I'm deathly scared that Nintendo is going to do something that causes this. This is eBay. Okay, eBay. What's happening now is that physical copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars are already being scalped and already being sold at higher prices. And I mean, raise your hand if you did not see this coming. What, crickets? Yeah, that's what I thought. Everyone knew that because of this fear of missing out, that scalpers were going to have their heyday. The secondhand market was going to just go nuts after this game is done. Now, again, as I said, you still have the best buy listed here. You could still buy the actual uh, copy at $59.99 physically, uh, but you cannot get it uh, after a certain amount of time. I would say probably the end of April, you will be hard-pressed to find a copy of this game anywhere besides some obscure retailer near you uh, that hasn't sold out. And look at the prices being set here. We have $275 here. We have 38 people watching this $275 copy. Why? 80 bucks, right? 107 of them sold at $80. At eighty dollars, one hundred and seven of them sold, despite you know being available at fifty nine. And granted, they, by the time they bought it, it's possible this was out of stock. Um, you, you know, you got uh, you know. Here's a scalper right here. Look at this guy. Look how many copies this guy has. You want to talk about Scalper City? I mean, look at this. Look how many Nintendo. You did this. I'm not even blaming scalpers. Nintendo, you did this. You see this image here? You see this? Nintendo, this is on you. You caused this to happen. You caused scalpers to buy as many copies as possible because of it going out of print. And I don't know if he's going to make his 88, you know, 88, 88, he's asking per copy with free shipping. So, you know, after shipping, you know, he's probably making about 20 bucks profit. I don't know, uh, you know, what he's doing here. I, I don't know if he's going to sell them all. 
but he probably will. He sold three in the last hour, it said. You know, this one, 10,000. Obviously, I think this is just someone just trying to you know, get some memes going. This one's actually available as a used copy. Actually, it's not. It's bids. So it's bid up to 52 right now. We'll see where the bids end at. Let's, let's switch it to buy it. And I don't like going by the bid system because whatever the bids are now has nothing to do with where it's going to end at. So let's just switch to buy it now. Um, so let's see here. Uh, so I showed the best buy eighty dollars. You know, sixty nine dollars, eighty dollars, seventy dollars, seventy dollars, sixty two dollars. A little more fair here. Um, that's barely over MSRP to be honest. Uh, almost gone though. There seventy dollars, seventy eight, seventy five, a hundred and thirty. Although this has a couple other things with it. Five hundred dollars, seventy five, seventy, seventy, eighty. Uh, fifty five dollars for this one. It's supposed to be a straight up used copy. Someone's just trying to get most of the money back for it. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Um, $1,500, $100, $62, $63, 15000 for some ungodly reason, $65, $60, 70 and yeah, $45,000. I, I mean, come on. People are only watching this, 87 people watching this, just to see why the hell if anyone actually spends $45,000 on admittedly a sealed copy. Because you can still buy the game for $59.99. But here's the thing. These prices are, are what they are now before it's sold out. Once it's completely sold out, which it's going to happen, uh, that's it. These prices are going to go higher and higher and higher. And Nintendo encouraged this. The Nintendo, you did this to the market. You made it so scalpers could have their way with this. So scalpers could make lots of money. You encouraged a market that is very against consumers. You did this. And that sucks. Now, granted, yeah, I know. The, the number one argument to not really worry about any of this is, hey, look, we've had plenty of time to buy a copy. Nate, you have a copy of 3D All-Stars. Why do you care? I care because this isn't the only anniversary Nintendo is celebrating. The 35th anniversary of Zelda is coming up, and I'm scared they're going to have some sort of Zelda collection pack that's also going to be FOMO'd and only available to March 31st of 2022, and they're going to do this again. And you know what the problem is? You know what the scary thing is? We're all going to support it. The Mario one sold 8, 10 million copies. How many do you think the Zelda one's going to sell? Probably another 8 to 10 million copies. And I'm going to own one, making me part of the problem because I don't speak with my wallet. And most of us don't speak with our wallet when it comes to this stuff. We want it. Nintendo makes us want it even more by telling you that it's limited. I... Now, look, I'm not saying that limited quantity things shouldn't happen. There should be absolutely special editions, collector's editions, as much as they get scalped as well. Hey, I get it. Like, that's a special thing. I got a collector's edition of Octopath Traveler as an example. I get it. That's a special thing, a unique item. It's made to be collected and made to have high value. I'm understanding of certain limited runs like that. I'm not understanding of limited runs of this. Uh, Nintendo, we've known about this for a while. The decision's only more baffling the further and further out we get from it, and the higher and higher these prices are, are going to end up going. Because, I mean, yeah, it looks crazy to see $1,500, $10,000, that $30,000 or $45,000 one we saw. Here's a twenty five. Like, these prices sound crazy, but, I mean, what if a day arrives that that's what they're calling? And you, you think it's crazy. There's 10 million of them. How could they go that high? Because people might be unwilling to sell. Like, legit consumers. I'm not going to sell it because I can't get it back. 150 bucks. It's for three copies, maybe? Maybe? Or maybe it's just showing he's got three of them to sell. Um, See, so yeah, you know, I this is actually kind of a fair price here. This one's got two of them packaged together. Who's selling this one? That's Now, this is fair right here. I mean, I don't know if they're sealed. I mean, the 3D All-Stars plus 3D World, that's, that's fair. I mean, for people who think that 60 bucks is fair for those games each. But I mean, you know, so again, things aren't super bad right now. You are seeing some price hiking, but it's not super bad yet, but it's going to get worse. This $100 price point might be, I think, right around where it's going to settle in the secondhand market. Once you can't buy them at retail, as I said, right now, I can still get it at Best Buy. Right now, you can still get it on Amazon at close to MSRP. But once that's gone, I mean, what the hell else is going to happen, guys? I'm just worried about Nintendo doing this again and again and again. And because all of us, myself included, supported this, why wouldn't Nintendo do it again? If they could FOMO anything and get $10 million in sales, and if they think it's something that won't get $10 million in sales on its own without being FOMO'd, you know, fear of missing out, then why wouldn't they do it? Why wouldn't they? They're incentivized to do it. Uh, so I don't know what the solution really is other than 
Hoping that Nintendo isn't that big of a dick. We're all going to buy Zelda if they do it. We're all going to buy Donkey Kong if they do something for the 40th anniversary. And the thing is, this isn't even the worst. The worst is that we lost Mario 35. Nintendo Switch Online is worth uh, less today than it was a week ago. Why? Because they removed the game that I don't really think they ever needed to remove in Super Mario 35. And if they do something like that for Zelda and Donkey Kong and then give us a limited run for that, that's also shitty. And that's literal games removed we just can't play anymore. It doesn't matter if you already have the game downloaded. It's an online-only game. Servers are down. You can't play it anymore. I think it's just dumb. I think Nintendo needs to uh, uh, rethink this strategy. Uh, if nothing else, uh, just for my sanity. <laughs> Not that they care about my sanity, but I wish they would. Whatever, at least I get to make, I guess, interesting videos like this where I get to bitch about it. But I don't want to bitch about it. I want to praise Nintendo. I want to say positive things. Uh, and Nintendo has been doing some positive things. I'm so glad they're participating in E3. That's awesome. But I'm also scared that we're going to get all these 35th Zelda announcements and then some of them are going to be this limited time thing. I don't think it needs to be limited time to sell well. I, I would understand if they did something like this for, like, Pikmin. Like, like, take a franchise that doesn't sell very well, right? Like, do a Metroid, this 35th anniversary of Metroid this year, do a Metroid collection of classic games, right? Like, you know, gather up the classic Metroid games. Now, I'm not talking about the Prime Trilogy. I'm talking about the other Metroid games. Gather all those up, throw them in a collection with an HD widescreen resolution, and FOMO that! I can understand doing it for a franchise that doesn't sell very well. But Mario? Likely now Zelda? Like... I get it for IPs that don't have big sales. I don't get it for IPs that are going to sell well regardless of this. Now, the number one argument, of course, is that the original Mario All-Stars on SNES was also limited. And I hear you. But how long ago was that? Who says they have to keep doing it? Only Nintendo says that. So, anyways, folks, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Let me know if you're worried about this for Zelda's anniversary. And I'll catch you in the next video.